Hey what's up Fluda here and yeah now I'm gonna do my quality tutorial many of you asked me to do it and yeah now I'm gonna do it and we start right now and the first step is go to options and video and make sure to um, use good settings uh, video settings and yeah if you wonder why I use 1280 to 720 instead of full HD Full HD doesn't work as good as uh, 1280 to 720 for me. I don't know why, but yeah, it is like that. And yeah, I used uh, Full HD for a long time, but yeah, it, it, it just works uh, better for me with uh, 1280 to 720. You just have to test it out. Maybe Full HD works for you perfect. But yeah, however. Um, if you want you can copy these settings right here but you can change them of course and if your PC isn't that good you can set this to normal or something and if your PC is really good you can set it to extra but it doesn't really show show up as um, a better quality or something in my opinion and yeah it's the same with anti-aliasing if you want you can turn it on but yeah it doesn't really change much so it's always off and yeah of course shadow specular map and depth of field always on yes because it makes uh, the, the the game uh, look much better and yeah image quality always on native because extra and high is blurred I don't know why but yeah use native it just looks better and yeah that's it as I said, you can copy these settings, but yeah, you can do what you want. Just test it out. So, now I'm gonna show you how to record clips. We're gonna just gonna choose two clips right here. They are old, I just got the demos from them. Or, yeah, however. Um, let's choose this one. So here we got our clip, and now make sure to set it to uh, either 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 to get really high FPS we're just gonna set it to 0 0.2 and by the way I'm gonna link you the field of view changer and everything you need uh, in the description as well as the hit mark sound many of you asked me for it and yeah anyway just record the clip in 0 0.2 FPS if you want like 600 FPS and then you need no no tweaks or something it already looks good enough with the normal Vegas uh, Vegas however settings and yeah so here we are on the desktop right now and yeah I'm gonna show you how to record your clips and yeah you can choose fraps or dextery or many other pro uh, programs there are so many uh, recording programs but i would always recommend fraps but if your pc isn't that good uh, better use dextery or something there are so many dextery tutorials on youtube in how to get a good quality with dextery and yeah just try it but i will try it with fraps first because the settings in Fraps are easy and Fraps is easy to use and everything and you get the best quality with it in my opinion and yeah you can just copy these settings right here if you want but yeah if you uh, if you record in game with uh, 1280 to 720 in resolution of uh, 1280 to 720 never use half size because it makes it look like I don't know just a crappy, totally crappy resolution because it's the half of uh, two th uh, one, uh, 1280 to 720 and that's not really much. And yeah, however, you can use 60 or 90 FPS, it doesn't really change that much. But yeah, I would recommend uh, using 90 FPS if your PC is good enough. And yeah, it makes it still a bit more smooth and everything. But yeah, let's go to Vegas. So I already edited uh, this clip here, the clip we just recorded. But let's save it and I'm gonna show you the project settings first. 
So, go to new and copy these settings right here. Just pause the video and uh, copy them if you want the same quality as me. And yeah, you can change some things if you're not really fine with it or something. But yeah, that's it for the project. And now we open the other project again so that we can render it. So yeah, as I said, I already edited this clip and we're just gonna add the black bars. Yeah, that's it. I know the second the second shot isn't that good synced, but however, I did this in like one minute. And yeah, here's the hitmark sound. Normally, they are like four sounds. One second, where is it? Here. Normally, there are four sounds, four hitmark sounds. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So you just copy either this or that. And yeah, just cut them off and use them in a separate... Uh, is it separate? I think, yeah, in, 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 in another uh, audio track than the actual song, of course, and uh, the shots. And just put it to 8 or something in the in the sound bar, however, I don't know how it's called, but yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, make sure to go to properties and normalize the sound so it's a bit louder. And then you can just turn it off with uh, this thingy right here. And yeah, you can do the same with the Barrett sound, of course. And there are many sound packs like Enigma did one and yeah just download um, any sound pack and you get all the Barrett sounds and the, all the all the cut sounds in total and th yeah that's not a problem I guess and yeah we're gonna render it, render it out now I already rendered it but without oh fail without um, the black bars so the render settings just go to main concept a avc aac dot mp4 and go to custom right here and then you can just yeah I just named it uh, render render settings clips etc 1080 you can if you don't want to uh, use uh, full HD for the render settings just copy this to uh, 1280 and this to 720 then you got uh, the normal resolution like 1280 to 720 that's already more than enough for YouTube and yeah but you get of course a better quality with 1080 so yeah you can just copy these settings right here even though YouTube doesn't uh, doesn't recognize it or doesn't it doesn't show up as uh, 60 FPS on YouTube just as 30 I guess and yeah however it just looks better and more smooth and whatever I would render it still in 60 FPS and maybe some channels want the, the raw file of it because they want to upload it or something then it looks better on the desktop and whatever you know what I mean you can just copy all these settings right here just pause the video if it's too fast and yeah then go to OK and just yeah render it so yeah see you in 30 seconds <laughs> so now we are back again and yeah let's see what we just rendered it's 10 megabytes big so yeah it's it's pretty big for the length of it because it's just six seconds but yeah it just looks better so, let's watch it. Yeah, that's it. 
However, this is it. You can just use it now, and if you if you want to uh, still use it in in uh, After Effects, then just render it in AVE or RV AV. However, AVI of course not AVE. Um, yeah, that's it. And yeah, if you got any questions. Just ask me in the comment section below and of course I will add the field of view changer to the description and the hit mark sound right here this one so you can use it for your edits as well so yeah that's it I hope you liked it I never really commented anything in English so it's it wasn't really it wasn't really easy for me but yeah however I hope you liked it, leave a like if you if you enjoyed it and if it helped you and yeah, see you next time.